should we sally forth and continue to find out? <sighs> you gotta go to the idea of being What did I just want? An actual environment. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, one of the things that we talk about when we talk about um, OBM is the ability to wield contingencies. Mm, you yes. shall wield them like a sword, uh, right? You are <laughs> um, a learner. Hold else. on, is there a sword? Yes. Oh, I have a sword. Ha <laughs> On guard. Hey, you brought a rock to a sword fight. I will lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have control. Um, that's, that's called a ranged weapon. <laughs> yeah. My contention was well, supervising from a distance. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're wielding You're wielding punishers, sir. Yeah. Um, I'd rather you throw candy. It's like at the, at the, at the ballpark, they shoot the t-shirts. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, man, that was supposed to be a reinforcer. That's a good example of a reinforcer that's a punisher. Yeah, exactly. All, all off of magnitude. to yeah. be a reinforcer. <laughs> yeah. If I handed you so. one, it might be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I had to, yeah. That's so true. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, wow, well, we just went, to, that had nothing to do with control, but I think it's a good point um, that what you intend for something to be a reinforcer isn't always necessarily a reinforcer. So the t shirt gun, the t shirt cannon, you screw up with that, you're putting somebody in a hospital. Yeah. Like, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> like, really? Bob. Ribs. Yeah, oh. Um, but in order to, to relate it to this topic, in order to deliver reinforcers, you have to have control in your environment, at least at some level. Yeah. Stop laughing. <laughs> um, he's laughing because of, like, because of what he's about to say, I yeah. think. Which is, I'm going to prompt you with a simple question. As the chief of staff, what sort of control do you actually have in your environment? Like, over your, what control do you have to wield those contingencies? Like, can you? Can you not? What's in your way? What's good? I, I What's bad? I can highlight and suggest them, but as far as like actually driving them, not really. Tell them because I'm Tell over them. here. Like I'm, hey, come you, back. Good job, boss. No, I'm good. Come like, back. I'm gonna listen from back this here. This is how much control you actually have in the workplace, right? So the idea is really just around teaching and building that skills for other. Your job should be suggesting the contingencies for other people to implement, and it goes down the line, right? You're you're not in control of everything, and there's. I have lots of control. I can't even control the bugs around here. You're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to be able to reinforce. You can reinforce at a certain level, but then it just falls apart, the especially as you start to scale and things get bigger. You sit in an office and have ideas, and that's real cute. I wouldn't say you control anything at that point. So are you telling me you set behavioral traps? I try to. Um, that's been the primary focus of what I've been doing, is making sure that, like, for instance, lines of communication... I try to see where if people are starting to communicate, there's a back and forth and a check. So it makes, I, I, I look for uh, strings in the policies along with what they're actually doing and see if they start making little traps. I call it a trap check because otherwise you're just sending out words and responding in random directions and things don't happen and they don't stick and the policies fall apart because you don't get reinforced because there's no contingency. So uh, it, essentially the position is looking for that, trying to highlight what went well because it is actually being reinforced or what just completely fell apart because there was no reinforcers delivered. So I back up and go, okay, hey, wait a minute. We should put these two pieces back together, ensure this happens. Thank you for doing that and see if it falls apart again. <laughs> and so you're telling me that this is a bit of an iterative process, that it's not one and done. You no, get in here, it never you set is. up a contingency, you reinforce it once, you can't just go home and call it quits. Right? No, it's a constant thing. It's that you put the bolt in, the bolt falls out, you get the bolt, you put the bolt back in. If it keeps falling out frequently, then we have to look at okay, what the hell? Oh, well, the, the bolt's too small. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna weld it in I'm there. really <laughs> hoping that would have been the solution that popped up earlier, but yeah. Yeah, I get your point though. Like if if some mistakes are gonna happen, things aren't gonna be perfect. You have to allow mistakes to happen. But mm -hmm. if they start to happen too frequently, or the same mistake, and, and over the level and over of again. mistake, there is right. that. There's some things really that's just way out. You can't punch children. No, no. I'm like sorry. <laughs> no, you do wield that contingency. Lear learning is done. But, <laughs> and, <laughs> at that point, as a chief of staff, you do have that contingency in your pocket. You yeah. are no longer working in this organization. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Yeah. So at some level, you do have a fair amount of control, like mm -hmm. at that. But it, what I hear you saying is that on the individual little pieces of the behaviors that they engage in day in, day out. It's not necessarily you providing the reinforcement. No. It's their actions producing reinforcing scenarios in the environment. Yes. So are you, did you develop a quality treatment plan? Well, you'll know because you're develop, you're being successful with a kiddo. Yep. Right. You're, you're RVPs did you develop are, a quality training program? You'll know because they're going to be successful working with the kiddo. 
and your RBT is happy because they're, or they're your tech, whatever you want to say, yeah. is happy because they're producing the, they're doing the work and they're, it's being successful. They're enjoying working with the kiddo. Because you have it's higher quality permanent product through their assessing notes. You have all those other pieces. So you're saying that you don't have that much control. No. <laughs> but yet you have all the responsibilities. <laughs> it's real fun. All the respons- So as someone once said at a job that I once had, <laughs> um, all of the responsibility and none of the authority. Hey. Hey, right? Yeah. Um, it's a great statement, uh, and I think that that's it's a... fairly accurate. You can hit people over the head with a hammer all day long, but that might not be the best way to go. Yeah. It's so, better to reinforce them. Right. And then set up their, set up the natural contingencies. I mean, mm-hmm. that, that's what I see. What you would do is setting up a natural contingency for people. Like, when you do this, with, like, the, like the communication thing. Mm-hmm. You give them the tool to communicate. If they don't use it, okay, they're not going to use it. But if they do, they happen to enter... They happen to... And there happens to be a... Uh, die, co- or, no, die, <laughs> I think die something. Um, a di something. I don't know what the hell it is. It's two, two people interacting. Two, two with things. Each other. Di- didactic. It, there it might it be is. a didactic interaction between mm-hmm. you and somebody else. That might in itself be reinforcing, and that behavior starts to grow. So you set mm-hmm. that trap, and then it's a natural contingency they're being successful. It's with. weird. It, it is a prime Concert. example of yeah. teaching loosely. Huh. <laughs> You're supposed to design something to the point where they can still operate between two two boundaries. Sure. Right. Two things. Because if you teach to the point that it's so tight, it's a, it's not going to generalize right. at all. Yeah. It'll Program just, it'll, it'll just fail. Sure. Yeah. So and this goes back to Bayer, Wolf, and Risley in the prayer, or Bayer, Bayer, just Bayer. I can't remember. Maybe it's Risley. I don't know. But one of those articles. One on, of those guys. Oh, they general, were good. Programming yeah. generalization. Stokes and Bayer. There you go. Um, and that's like the 60s or 70s. It's an old, old article, but they talked about if you're wanting generalization, you better program for it, like straight yes. up. And this is an example of that. Mm-hmm. We're adding that in there. Um, I've had great luck with opening up multiple tools for communication at once and teaching everybody how to use them all at the same time. Say go, and then whichever one the one they use, guess what? Wins. That works for them. Like okay, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter if I like that or it matters if they're going to use it. Yeah. So I put as many in place as I possibly could, turn them loose, let the environment take over from there. And the one that sticks is the ones that we strengthen, we reinforce, and we work within that context. So, um, yeah. It's pretty cool that way. So you have no control. No control. <laughs> we don't have any control. We have all of the control over nothing. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even have control over ourselves. Half the time we don't. <laughs> no, we don't manage our own contingencies. Yeah. Um, which is interesting because now we're thinking about OBM. We're talking about supervisory work, obviously. Um, but yet, who super who reinforces us for doing that work? And subscribers. Subscribers. <laughs> the people in the the people at work. Yeah. You do a good job as a supervisor. They're probably going to do good work back or do their job well, and subsequently and might reinforce what you're doing. Hopefully. Or they say thanks, Brad. Yeah. Neat. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, they seem happy when they show up. They to seem work. happy. Yeah. 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 It's about yeah. time. It's good. Yeah, we'll call it. Yeah. You yeah. don't have to clap the end of the video. I know. I that guess. That was a generalization notice I, mistake. No, 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 no. Stop.